What? By Moloch, sulfurous hatred! And here I thought that traitor and bandit was our only hope. Where's Rahanal, that bastard? Left me here to rot. I'll rot him! He did, did he? Wait till I get my hands around his throat. The key to these shackles is kept in their surveyor's tent on the hillside across from us. Free me, so I can kill Rahanal! Friends? Friends? He's a liar, a thief, and a cheat! What kind of friend is that? I may be a bandit, but I've got standards, unlike that desert lowlife. Don't tell me you've never borrowed anything without permission. I've always been free-spirited. Otherwise, I'd be in a stronghold somewhere living like some toothless villager. And not that you would understand firsthand, but if I can't be the chieftain with a hearth husband, forge husband, then no. So I say, to Moloch's hoary nethers with all strongholds, I am not a sign of status for any man. Are you mocking me? Ask Rahanal how they caught us. Besides, I can't change my passion for adventure. Would you give up a life of danger to be a swineherd? Then I say it is they who are fools in the end. I may look a fool today, but I will feel the warm spray of Imperial blood across my lips, and it will cleanse this weakness. I'm free, thanks to you. Have a triumphant look about you. Spit it out. Have you the key or not? Good. Release me so I can give Rahanal the thanks he so richly deserves. I'll get a weapon and catch up to you and Rahanal. Keep low and remain vigilant. The Imperials are thieves without honor. Morwa's blessed bosom. Loath as I am to send you from one danger to the next, the Seventh Legion's captives in the mine need your deft aid too, if you're willing to go on. It will, but to prevent you from freeing every miner within, I suggest that you seek out one captive in particular. He used to run this mine before they took it from him. They still allow him freedom of the camp, unlike the others, however. Foreman Connor is not helping them. He helps the miners. Without his knowledgeable eye, the central chamber would collapse on top of the conscripts while they work. This was his mine, and the Legion took it from him. I assure you, he's no Imperial puppet. I will seek the man who runs this accursed camp, Pantheus Varro. He and his men are concentrated on the other side of the encampment beyond the palisade wall, by the barred gate. Should you need me, look for me there after you give Foreman Connor the key. Take the taciturn Snaruga with you, will you? I don't want to feel her slicing me to ribbons with anything but her eyes. Not until everyone's free. The Imperial Commander, Pantheus Varro, tortured me. 
He broke something in my hand and wrist, and I told him where to find the others. I put my comfort over theirs. Snaruga heard me, and she'll never forget. Onsi's breath is the most lucrative mine in the whole of Bankorai. This is why the name it carries comes from Great Onsi, as it yields much and more for the making of weapons and armor. That's why Pantheus Varro took this place by force. Too long, sometimes allies, mostly rivals. To the Imperials, we are all the enemy, regardless of what we were before. Likewise, they are now our enemy, above any other. Hopefully, Snaruga hates them more than she hates me at this point. He commands this group. I don't know their affiliation. They're here for the mines, and that's all he cares about. He'll keep it running no matter how many conscripts he kills. Free. Who are you? Is this another test? I'm not trying to escape, I told you. I am not leaving this mine. Nobody else knows how to reinforce versus structural collapse. I still find it hard to believe that this is truly an escape attempt. Trust? Pantheus Varro's damned games have torn all trust from us. If you're here to dupe me, then just get on with it and dupe me. I'd rather be chained out in the sun than suffer the indignation of being played with like a puppy. Oh, you can believe that I will. If this is part of some scheme, it's not a very good one. Only one thing would turn this mine over more quickly than just striking the chains from these miners, after what's been done to them. Well, if you're truthfully with Pantheus Varro, then I've already said enough to seal my fate. Look for a chamber on the far side of the mine. There, you will find a massive stockpile of coal, which is a tempting target for sabotage, if one was so inclined.
in trouble. Came out here to find lazy bones dying on the job. I'm not having it. No one kills him but me. He'll do. Go kill Pantheus Varro. I'll get Rahanal to our friends before he bleeds out. Rahanal said he's on the hill looking out toward the desert. I'd go with you, but someone has to carry this big baby to safety. Good luck. I'm free. I told Rahanal not to worry about you. Unlike some people I could name, you can handle yourself in a pinch. I had no doubts you'd triumph. This may not be a stronghold, but there are people who need me. We'll fight back until the Imperials are beaten, or we die in glorious battle.
King Emmerich said you might be coming. The Imperials are here. Did you know this? The King and his men are preparing for an attack even now. Though they are greatly outnumbered, I think it is good that you are here. Hurry along, then. You will find the King just up the road. I am going to scale this wall and try to get more details on the Imperials' defenses. I will join you shortly. I was wondering when you'd wander up. I knew you wouldn't let me get all the glory. Of course, I wouldn't have wanted to take any action until you were with us regardless, but I like to pretend. Anyhow, how in oblivion are you? I feel strong. I'm ready to spill some Imperial blood. This will be remembered as the place where the Imperials made their last stand in Bankorai. Despite my advisor's concerns, I decided I had to be here and lead the charge myself. Ha! Are you trying to coddle me now, too? I command you, put aside your concerns. This isn't even going to be a real contest. Each of my soldiers can take ten of theirs, and you can take a hundred. So, can we get on with this? All right, everyone. This is it. No one is allowed to die until they've taken down at least a dozen enemies. Kill as many as you can. The only exception is the Major's General. She's mine, and mine alone. Good speech, Emmerich. I can't believe you still fancy me after all these years. Let's get reacquainted then, shall we? Overconfident as ever, I see. I'm not afraid of you, Septima. To arms! Defend the King! You will not! I think we need to spend some alone time, Emmerich. Come, let's find a quiet place. Zet's tears. What has befallen? Who has slain everyone? Where's the king? Oh, merciful Mara. Please say this isn't so. I knew the king should not have come. Why should he risk his life this way? What will we do now? Someone has to go after him. No. I mean, I have scouted out all this area from the ridges above. The Imperial encampment is just over the hill, and then this temple. The Hall of Heroes, it goes on forever. She might have taken the King anywhere in all that space. The encampment. There has been much activity there in recent days. The Imperials have been going in and out of the temple. I have even seen the Mage's General herself. Perhaps if you search the encampment, you will find some evidence of her plan. You are a brave soul to go after the King on your own. I applaud your courage. I will go to Evermore to request additional support, then I will return. May Ruptga and all the gods be with you until then. None, save that they are very well dug in. I would guess that they have been here for several weeks, making preparations for something significant. Most of the Imperial soldiers are in the encampment. I think there are Daedra in the temple itself. The Hall of Heroes? Oh, it is very, very old, and no one even uses it anymore. Heroes today are entombed at Tuwaka's throne or Motalian Necropolis. But long ago, 
This is where great heroes like Frundar Hunding and Makela Leki were buried. The Keeper said it should belong to the gods themselves, that mortals were never truly welcome here. Perhaps so. Legends always suggested it was a place where planes collide, where worthy Redguard souls came to make the journey to the far shores.
Halls of the Gods or Halls of the Dead? Which is it? Is there a difference? Look, another live one. Oh, sorry. I should speak more quietly. Don't want to disturb the dead, or the Daedra crawling all over this place. I find them very distasteful. Not right for this place. Not right at all. Me? I'm the Keeper of the Hall. I am guardian of the gate between here and there, between this place and the next. The living don't belong here. I'm supposed to keep them out, but I seem to have failed at that. Yes, especially that cruel, twisted lady Septima Tharn, I believe she is called. She has broken all the rules. I told her as much I did, but she would not listen. When she leaves, I do not think I will invite her to come back. She's in the Chamber of Passage, but it is a forbidden place. You must get special allowances to go there. This is the Hero's Hall. You will have to convince them to let you pass. Oh, they're scattered all over this place, everywhere. Getting them to talk is the hard part. They're quiet types. Been dead for centuries. Friend our hunding might listen. You'll just have to do some convincing. You have Tawaka's blessing, though. I hope Frandar lets you pass. I also hope he has more clarity than I do. I wonder why anyone would want to visit the Chamber of Passage, or even the Far Shores. Aren't there some shores you could visit a little closer to home? Do I live here? That is a strange choice of words. Yes, indeed. As I said, this place is not for the living. It is the dead who actually live here. I simply watch over the place. I go back and forth between here and there. If we knew that, then presumably we could force her to leave. That would save us all a lot of trouble, would it not? That would certainly be nice. It is not as far as it sounds, but you do have to die to get there. It is where mortal souls are supposed to go when they pass from this plane. Not all souls find their way, of course, but some of them do not belong anyways. You understand? But you belong in this place no more than the others, the invaders. Why do you come here? Why do you disturb my rest? Of all the places in this temple you do not belong, it is there you belong the least. But I sense that where the others have come to violate the chamber's sanctity, you have come to restore it. I will give you my blessing, if you prove worthy. The invaders have taken my scrolls. Four sacred writings from the Book of Circles. They describe the principles one must master in the various seasons of life. Recover the scrolls, place them on the appropriate pedestals, and earn my blessing. 